Shalom, shalom. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are. This is an opportunity, and we'll call it an opportunity because it's one. It's not going to become one because we call it so, but it is so. Glory to God. We are blessed. We are blessed, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, to have what we have today. But now, the problem will not be is always not to see what we have already and what we have is the best we need to have today look when god was providing what he provided to us he chose the best you know his love has made him to give us all that he is do you know that that's what he gave to us in other words he shared himself with us you know, if somebody can share himself with you, that's the best he can offer. In getting to know who God is, he's eternal, he's the source of life, the source of peace, the source of power, and he does share himself with you. What do you think he has given to you? Well, all this has been shared to us in the person of Jesus Christ. And this is what we're discovering. This is what the gospel reveals. And the moment we discover it, we'll shift, we'll begin to live according to the will of God. You know, when people hear the will of God or the purpose of God, they think it is to suffer you. No, God's purpose and intention is not to make you suffer. God's intention and purpose is to help you see why you are here, discover his love, discover who he is and who he is. Who is God? God is more than what we've been told. He's been revealed in his fullness in the person of Jesus Christ. And by the Spirit of God, we are able to see that. And the moment we get to know him, that's the beginning of life. I'm talking about eternal life, not just this ordinary life that everybody knows, but we have this new life from God. And this is the best life in quality and quantity is irreplaceable is uncomparable this is the best glory to god so this is what we discover the gospel is the beauty of god the gospel reveals to us everything that has been given to us I'm telling you what has been given to us is the best he looked at the best and the best is him he shared himself with us. And that's a sacrifice. When the Bible talks about the sacrifice, well, it is God choosing to sacrifice to give himself to us. And this is the best sacrifice ever. It's what we discover, brothers and sisters. Now, how can you know these things and think that your day is supposed is, is going to be a bad day? Well, even if it had that plan, <laughs> though there's no plan, the day cannot have a plan. But even if it had that plan, it will change because of your conviction or because of this revelation. Well, that's why we're sharing all this. I pray so that you catch it, you understand, because it's important. Well, people will always die because of lack of knowledge, because of ignorance. And ignorance is the rejection of knowledge. It's not that the absence is not the absence of knowledge. Many times the word will come, the revelation will come, the wisdom will be given to us, but we'll choose, we'll choose not to listen to, to that or we reject it just like that. I pray that you catch this understanding, this revelation in Jesus' mighty name. Look, we are studying and talking about the Holy Spirit revealing to us all things that are being given to us freely. Well, we just said, we said in the previous teaching that it is impossible for us to see all that has been given to us without the aid of the Spirit of God. There's so much that has been given to us, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. The only issue will be the ability to see that which is being given to us. And this is what the Spirit of God offers to us. He gives us the ability to see what has been given to us. And this is the best thing that can happen to you. Well, it's one thing God to give all that he had, but it's another thing to see what has been given to us. And that's the most important point that we need to talk about. Well, thank God the Spirit of God is here to help us see that. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, we read, and we, I, I want to read again so that we, we move to verse 13. It says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, 
but the spirit who is from God that he might know he might that we that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God <laughs> this is beautiful this is beautiful these things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but uh, which the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual now I, I was just remembering you know that among all these things that have been given to us we also have angels angels are included when you study in the book of Hebrews the Bible teaches us that the angels are being given to us so that they may uh, work or serve or minister for those that will inherit the kingdom for those is not it doesn't say they will minister to it says they will minister for well that means they minister for us well th this is this is beautiful so it says the even the angels have been given to us as our fellow servant as, as servants so that they may these are spirits that are being given to us so that may minister for those that are that we inherit the kingdom for example we have angels but do you know that instead of people seeing or knowing or acknowledging or build this consciousness of the angels given to us, they will just build this mentality of, uh, of uh, demons, Satan, and so on and so forth. Well, demons are not given to you. But surprisingly, the angels that are being given to us so that they may serve or minister for us and... Uh, that's something we need to know about well instead of knowing that we just ignore we just ignore so there's so much that have has been given to us that's what i'm trying to say there's so much that has been given to us and we have to take advantage of of it because it's ours it's ours glory you see the spirit of god will help us understand that is is true because it's easier to doubt how can angels be given to us because previously before jesus came the angels want to serve or work for anybody i'm telling you why would they work for you but if now jesus has come and we are one with him and these angels were serving were ministering for him therefore they are going to minister for us you see and this is very very crucial very important well i'm just using that example as one in a million that we have to understand there's so much that has been given to us but which we cannot just understand unless the spirit of god helps us glory to god so we've just read in verse 13 and it's very important verse 13 says these things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the holy spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual so there is uh, something here it says do you know that when you get to understand this the things of the spirit it is not easy to communicate them by your natural abilities it's always hard for you to articulate what the spirit of god uh, reveals to you so these things are given to us and we get to understand them and it will so be so hard. have you realized that you get to know things of god or the things you know of god sometimes it's so hard for you to communicate to articulate them you don't know how to bring to uh, to pass the message across so you struggle to communicate what you want to communicate like i said why because he says that these things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches so he's saying there is such a wisdom that we get from the spirit so that we are able to communicate so that we may speak these things with the wisdom of the spirit there is a difference between being eloquent and the ability to communicate the things of the Spirit by the help of the Spirit or the wisdom of the Spirit. 
you can find someone naturally uh, eloquent but this is to say whether you are eloquent or not whether you are introvert or extrovert it doesn't matter who you are when it comes to the communication of the things of the spirit there is such a wisdom given to us so that we are able to communicate those things glory to god if they cannot be seen naturally even the one who have seen them it will take the wisdom of the spirit for you to communicate to them to to other people well have you ever struggled to communicate certain things of the spirit he says the spirit of god does the work of providing the wisdom or ability to communicate those things and he understands that these things are spiritual of course they cannot just you cannot just communicate them anyhow you need him to help you to communicate these things you know so the the wisdom he says these things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches so he distinguishes between the wisdom of man and he says you know there are you can go in school and you are able you are taught how to communicate certain things with the wisdom of men there are things which you can learn and you are able through those teachings through those um trainings and with the wisdom of men there are things you can communicate but not the things of the spirit he says but which the holy spirit teaches so the spirit of god teaches the wisdom to communicate certain deep things of god so the deep things of god are communicated by the aid of the spirit of god himself first he helps you understand them two he helps you now communicate them so he gives the understanding and he gives the communication i've seen many people say well i don't have the gift of this the gift of that the gift of this but this is why the spirit of god is here he helps us communicate things he helps us communicate things of the spirit which we cannot naturally communicate because he teaches also people are acquainted with the teachers with this the wild teachers you know the teachers we learn from but we don't know that the spirit is also a teacher he's the best is the best teacher is the good is a good teacher that everybody should get get to know if you get to be taught by the spirit of god you realize is the best teacher ever even the things we are able to communicate to you right now it is by the help of the spirit these things are spiritual and that is why he raises a point there and he says he's comparing spiritual things with spiritual actually he is saying we ca- we are able to communicate spiritual things to those who are spiritual because it's so hard to communicate spiritual things to those who are carnal but when we receive or get to understand these spiritual things we are we communicate them to those who are spiritual and they will understand exactly what we're talking about well i just wanted you to know that the spirit of god is also a teacher and is the best teacher you know he just speaks he picks one 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 uh, example but he can teach you all things the ability to communicate the ability to understand the ability to do this or that the spirit of god provides this shalom shalom want to remind you to subscribe on Church of Life Rwanda and also share this good news to your world it's important to share it because it's the only solution God has provided you are blessed as you do it